I'm Miriam Joy and welcome to my studio. We're going to do a basic dyeing of the gourd just so you know just a little bit of basics on how to just dye a gourd one color. Just nice and simple. Something just to start out with when you're just getting going. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it with leather dye first. And one of the first things I want to talk to you about is I use to dye my gourds makeup rounds. These are cotton rounds. And I don't like the big real absorbent ones. I like the little tiny cheap ones. And I actually pick these up at Dollar Tree or the Dollar Store. The difference is these don't absorb as much dye so you can work it better where the bigger ones absorb so well that they actually absorb the dye and it takes more so I actually like the little cheapy guys better now if you're working with leather dye the first thing we're going to do is we're going to lightly dampen your gourd and the reason we're going to do this is because we're easing evening out the absorbance of the gourd because you have areas that are very absorbent and areas that are um, not very absorbent at all so by wetting them it makes it more even now you don't want to leave it wet just come back in and dry it with the dry part of your paper towel or if you have another towel with you and just dry that right back out so now it's all even if you were working with ink dyes or leather dyes you would not do this part because they come out even and you don't get the streaks that you do with the leather dye. So that is another reason that you can uh, use those instead. I like the alcohol inks. Those are really fun to work with and they're very forgiving. So we're going to put our gloves on here. You'll also notice that I'm working on a tray. A tray keeps your dye in in case you spill it and I have done that more than a few times so always make sure that you're working on a tray and always shake your product so we're going to shake that we're going to open it up and I'm using a burgundy color today and I'm going to put my lid back on so that I don't knock that over and I'm going to start at the bottom oh I lied this is English tan I'm sorry and you can see I'm kind of working in a swirl so that we don't get a line and then once I get up here I'm going to kind of go back and forth a little bit you want to make sure you're getting all the way down to the bottom here and I'm just going to work that back and forth or you could continue bringing circles up from the bottom now as you can see I'm running out of leather dye so we're going to go back and we're going to do one more, just nice and light. And we're going to finish that up. Just bring that on to the other one. Now, if you have a line like that, you also can even it out with your paper towel and just blend that in. So we've got that all nice and dyed. Any areas are a little bit streaky, you can go back over. I'm going to do the same thing again. Just going to kind of come in here. You also can go in a round motion like we talked about. If you want your color darker, put another layer on. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. You've got that pretty well dyed. And of course, your natural gourd is going to come through. Whatever designs are in the gourd are actually going to come through when you dye it. So sometimes you get these bright, colorful um, designs underneath that you can't see as well until you dye it, and then they show up. So it's always fun to see what the gourd offers as well. So thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions about this process, please email me at art at mariamjoy.com. If you uh, have any need for any of my product or go out and check out the fun specials we're having at mariamjoy.com. There's also a YouTube link there that she will take you over to my YouTube site, which is mariamjoy123. And there's more of these helpful videos as well as fun projects. 
There is a Facebook site, and Mary Joy Gourd Creations, where we post a new gourd picture for you every day to inspire you. So thank you for taking time to join me today. God bless.